Welcome back to This Week in 23 Sports. I'm Ellen Sheen alongside Aaron O'Connell. We have a great show for you today. NCAA wrestling and diving championships, volleyball, basketball, and golf. All of this and more coming up this week on 23 Sports. <laughs> Welcome to This Week in 23 Sports, your premier University of Missouri sports update show. Mizzou volleyball dropped to 11-6 overall after losing both sets to Florida last weekend. On Friday, the Tigers lost a close battle to the Gators in a five-set match. Mizzou started the game by winning the first two sets, but then Florida responded by taking back set three and four. Missouri lost the fifth set just by two points, 15 to 13. After losing such a close game, Mizzou headed into Saturday's match ready to take back the win. But unfortunately, Missouri had one of their worst matches, losing 25 to 10 in the opening set. The Tigers were able to win to get within closer range of the Gators in set two and three, but Florida ultimately won the game in three quick sets. That's right, Mizzou might have struggled in their last game, but the Tigers hope to bounce back. They will play Texas A&M at home on Friday and Saturday. Um, but as for men's basketball, they didn't. Mizzou men's basketball will return to the NCAA tournament. The Tigers are currently the ninth seed and will are scheduled to play the eighth seed Oklahoma this Saturday. The Tigers' last tournament appearance was three years ago when the Tigers fell to Florida State in the first round. Now senior Jeremiah Tillman was a freshman on that team and will return to the tournament for the second time. This is a 28th tournament appearance for Mizzou and the second time for Coach Martin. Last time these two teams played was November of 2019 and Oklahoma defeated Mizzou 77-66. That's right, Aaron. The Tigers are also coming off a loss in the SEC tournament last week. Mizzou beat Georgia 73-70 in the first round, but then fell to Arkansas 70-64 in the next game. Um, but they will play on Saturday. Meanwhile, the Mizzou women's basketball team is one out of 32 teams that is scheduled to play in the Women's National Invitational Tournament on Monday. Yep, yeah, that's right. This is Mizzou's eighth invitational tournament appearance in their program's history and their eighth postseason appearance in the last nine seasons. The Tigers' first game will be against Fresno State at Friday at 2 p.m. The women's tennis team dropped two matches to Florida and South Carolina last weekend with a score of 4-0 and 4-1. Senior Ellie Wright had huge wins, however, against both teams in doubles and with a score of 6-2 and singles with a score of 6-2 and 6-1. Freshman Valentin Vasquez Pon Gruber and senior Gabriella Golden earned a rank of the doubles as well as um, against South Carolina. The Tigers are now 1-6 in SEC play and the Gamecocks are 3-5. Mizzou Gymnastics head down south on Saturday to compete in the SEC championship. Missouri is coming off a loss against LSU, but even though they didn't win the overall meet, the Tigers did receive their second best beam score in the program's history. Missouri is set to compete in the afternoon section beginning around 2.30 p.m. The SEC Championship will be held all day on Saturday in Huntsville, Alabama. Speaking of championships, the first round of the NCAA Wrestling Championships begins today. Mizzou is just one out of three teams that has athletes competing in all 10 weight classes. These wrestlers qualified automatically during the MAC tournament in February. The Tigers re reset their MAC record with a score of 188.5 points. Last year, NCAA's tournament was canceled due to COVID-19. Mizzou finished six overall, but the year before in 19. The Tigers are competing for their six consecutive top five finish. This year's championship round will be on Saturday at 6 p.m. on ESPN. Last weekend, Mizzou hosted their home tournament, and oh boy, did the Tigers look like they had some home field advantage. Despite the nasty weather, Missouri went 4-0 in the tournament. Mizzou beat Drake 10 to, do in, 10 to 2 in just five quick innings. This was the eighth game this season that the Tigers have won because of the run rule. The final game of this tournament was against Iowa State, but it was unfortunately canceled due to rain. Missouri's Jenna Lingard finished with a pointing uh, average of 636, a triple, a home run, and eight RBIs for the weekend. She was definitely this weekend's top Tiger. The game against North Dakota State that was scheduled for yesterday was canceled, so the Tigers will now head to Athens, Georgia to face the Bulldogs in a three-game series. Another swing sport that is now underway is women's golf. 
The Tigers open the 2021 spring season at the end of February in the matchup tournament hosted by Florida State. The team finished 12th overall and had three individuals placed in the top 30. After having three weeks off, the Tigers will return to the course at the Liz Murphy Tournament hosted by Georgia on Friday and Saturday. Last Sunday, Missouri's baseball clinched their first series win of the 2021 spring season. The Tigers beat Illinois State Redbirds 12-7 in their final game on Sunday. This gave Missouri their third victory over the Redbirds. The Tigers will now move on to Kentucky for a weekend-long series beginning on Friday. Missouri's women's soccer is coming off a tough loss, a tough 3-0 loss against number 14 ranked BYU. That's right, but after having two weeks of plenty of practice time, the Tigers will return to the field on Saturday to face the Fighting Irish. Missouri will play Notre Dame away in South Bend. Men's golf plays 15th this week in the Tiger Invitational in Alabama, competing against 14 other schools. They finished with a score of 19 over par. Utah C led the team in strokes followed by Ross Steelman and Rory Franson. Utah side finished with a score of four over par. Steelman and Franson finished with six over par. The golf team will travel down to South Carolina on March 28th to play the Gamecocks. After the final day of zones for the swimming and diving team, we have four NCAA championship qualifiers. Junior Sarah Russo and sophomore Savannah Treb both earned spots on the platform. This will be Treb's second career NCAA invite, while Russo qualified for her first time as a Tiger. Joining the two sophomores, Carlo Lopez, who qualified for the one meter, the three meter, the platform, and Taku Andu, who also uh, applied for the platform. Meanwhile, the women's NCAA cross country race concluded on Monday. Among the 250 athletes, the zoo's Sarah Chapman finished 47th overall and fifth among SEC competitors. Team Kieran Wood finished in 188th place after moving up 25 spots in the last two kilometers of the race. Starting this weekend, the Tigers will switch into the outdoor track and field season. We will host the Mizzou Spring Opener on March 19th and 20th. There are a lot of Missouri sports heading your way this weekend. That's it for the show this week. I'm Erin O'Connell. And I'm Elmer Sheehan. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in 23 Sports.